Neraval is, uh, is an aspect of Mano Dharma that brings Raga, Tala and Sahitya together. It is melody, rhythm and uh, text, the, the text of the song. So, improvisation involves all three in Neraval. Neraval is a Tamil word, Neravaratha means to fill. In Neraval what happens is that one line of the composition, typically it is a Kriti, any one line of the Kriti is taken and uh, there is improvisation um, of that line and there is a certain way of building up that improvisation. I will demonstrate. Now the line selected obviously has to be appropriate in various ways. First that, first that the word should not be very difficult to pronounce. Some of our kritis do have difficult words. So a line containing a particularly difficult word is essential. We usually avoid that in Naraval. Uh, so, how do we pick the line for Neraval? That is itself something that uh, has some thought behind it. But for most big great compositions, the Neraval line is more or less established. Though of course, there is nothing to say that some other line from that Kriti cannot be picked for Neraval. But by and large, most people would uh, do Neraval on one line of the Kriti that has already been attempted earlier. So, this is a composition of Kyagaraja in Maya Malavagoda, Rupa Katalam. It is a very simple talam. So, here uh, Kyagaraja is talking about doing puja to Rama and this line, Charanam line, this is Sadasi Rukha Naga. Champaka Patala Kurava Gaya Sarasi Rupa. So here it is. His, these are just names of flowers which he is offering in worship to Rama. So it is a good line to take up for Naraval. This is a Sangati, this is established, this is already there, this is part of the composition, a melodic variation that is part of the uh, composition as taught. This is the first Sangati. Then. Sadasi Rukha Pundaga Champaka Patala Kurava Gaya Sadasi Rukha Pundaga Champaka Patala Kurava Gaya Sadasi Rukha Pundaga Champaka Sadasi Rukha Pundaga 
संपक बाटल गुरव गसदी रोग सो यूजिंग द लाइन द वर्ड्स इन दट पर्टिक्युलर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट सेल्फ सो इट सदसी रोग चंपक पाटल कुरव गरसी रुग पुनाग चंपक पाटल कुरव गरसी रुग सो जस्ट यूसिंग द सेम वर्ड्स एट सेम लाइन इन द सेटिंग मोर और लेस विद द सेम सेटिंग देर इज इम्प्रोविजेशन सरसीग सरसीग पुनाग चंपक पाटल कुरव गरसीग पुनाग पाटल कुरव गरसीग so um the the narrative begins in the first speech so sadasi ruha punna ga champaka patal gura vaga sadasi ruha punna ga champaka patal gura vaga sadasi so this is uh, what is called the first speed or kurkalam naraval then punna yaga chupa gaya padala kura kasadasi ru and then it can go uh, through pul ga champak patal kurav ga sarasi rog pul ga champak patal kurav ga sarasi so this is the way um uh, in the narrative is expected to be built up now the one of the most important things here to be maintained is what is the edup so here the song the line begins at ara edam half sadasi ruha half into the first beat you know that has to be maintained sadasi ruha and also the overall distribution of the words through there are four avatanas here in this line the words have to more or less be in those places so sadasi ruga pulla ayaya chumpak patal kurava ayaya sadasi ru to the sadasi ru the edup has to be maintained every time that is the uh, very important technical consideration in the presentation the next aspect of manodharma is what is called swara prastara or kalpana swaram in which the the solfa syllables the swaras themselves are uttered and improvisation happens using them and this also is attached to the anchor for this is a line in the composition now if a particular line has been picked up for naraval usually swara prastara is done with the same line as anchor now 
to demonstrate with the same line. This is a uh, very simple one avartana swara. Sometimes if it is a bigger composition, we do also first speed, lower speed. Swara prasthara. So this is called Kulkalaswaram and we usually go from shorter uh, swara sequences to longer sequences always maintaining the yadup. So here Sadasi Rukha that is it Pancham Padha Papa Mapa Ma Padha Papa Sadasi Rukha So the swara sequences have to end either at Ma or at Dha Pa Ma Gari Ga Ma Sadasi You can see Padha Pa Ma Gari Sadasi That is seen as very shoddy You can't do that it has to lead seamlessly into the edupa. Pada pa maga mada sadasi rukha. This is okay, acceptable. In some uh, contexts, going to the higher note sounds good actually. In some contexts, it won't, not necessary. Pa maga sadasi rukha. This is okay. Pa maga so this kind of small patterns also are created all the time. Here there is just a dense clustering around Panchama. These are small patterns created, all, all spontaneously created. When typically when you end Aswara Prasthara, quite often you find uh, a, a big pattern, slightly complex pattern. Now, if you look at this com this pattern, this is a very simple pattern. This is what is called a corve. A corve is a it's a corve is a rhythmic pattern uh, of considerable complexity. It can get very, very complex actually. So the, what I just sang is a very simple pattern. This is 5 into 3. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, you know exactly how many uh, beats this pattern will take, this set of 3. Will take and so you accordingly you adjust the, the the place where you pick this pattern up from. In this case, so 
it's it's a it's a pattern when you repeat it thrice it's 15 aksharas so here you and here, the edupu is 2 into the first beat so if you do the math the place where you have to pick up this pattern of 5 into 3 would be 3/4 uh, into the last beat that is 1 2 3 karisani darisani davasani davasani this as i said is a very basic elementary uh, pattern there can be much much more complex patterns and this is called a core way um uh, the each pattern can run to uh, 60 beats or you know 120 beats and that will be repeated twice so core ways can get very complex and uh, it i they had a kind of a rounding off a finale to the entire performance but there are many musicians who completely uh who have a very very reduced use for core ways this core way is something that you uh, learn you practice and you deliver there are some very rare musicians who can even create core ways on the uh on the spur of the moment but by and large most musicians if they want to perform a core way it is something they have practiced and they have to deliver on stage so again uh, swara prasthara is different from chitta swara chitta swara as i have mentioned before is part of the kriti itself this just a sangati is part of the kriti but nerval is improv- improvisation improvisation using a line of the kriti so also chitta swara is part of the composition that is swara prasthara is improvised um it's uh, possible to make it out for instance in this very f- there are some very famous chitta swarams nidavadhi sukhadani malarupa nidavadhi sukhadani malarupa nidita mudishapa adidavadhi sukhada ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ quite often chitta swarams are composed by later musicians not necessarily by the composer the vage kara himself but then they, these are some famous chitta swarams that are part of some compositions the chitta swaram is uh, sung after the anupallavi and then it goes back to the pallavi the chitta swarams again sung after the charanam and that leads into the pallavi Now, that is how the chitta swaram occurs in composition now the charanam of this composition is mama va mara gada mani ni bhade ha mama va mara gada and this is a famous line for taking up as for take, taking up swara prastaram because mama va mara gada so the ma mamava maragate is actually what is called as swarakshara the swara and the akshara are the same it is ma the word is also ma mamava maragada madini bhade gaya mamava maragada nanida madama gamagari sariga mamava maragada the edupu is 
3 into the first beat mama vama ra ga da da sa ni da ma ni da ma da ma ga ri sa ri ga ma ma vama ra ga da 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 ni da ni da ma ni da ma da ma ga ri ga ma ma vama ra ga da re ga ma ga ri ga ma ri ma ga ri sa sa ri ga ma ma vama ra ga da